Welcome back to another zombie game. This is devlog number one with a fancy new intro. So this is a really big episode. We got a lot of things to do. So as you saw in the last episode, we need to fix the uh, aim down sights issue. And believe it or not, it's a lot easier than you thought to fix. So to fix this bug, all we have to do is go to the third person blueprint, go down to our blueprints and our third person character. You'll see all of this visual scripting stuff. If we look around, we will see a, we'll see this aim down sights function. And all we have to do is hold on and fixed. That's how easy it was. Now we go and compile it. Let's go play our game. Just sit in here. Now I can't aim down sides. So now I can't have that bug. That's a check. We'll move that over. Aim down sights. Done. Next thing next is we need to get rid of these Cold War logos. So as I showed you in the last episode, my TVs are playing Call of Duty Zombies. I'm not sure that's gonna fly. So if you watched the last episode, you saw I drew this little zombie guy right there. I'm probably not gonna take him down. He has a permanent spot on my wall now. So you might be thinking, wow, you're a, a semi-okay artist. Well, I'm about to prove you wrong. So what I didn't show you in the first episode when I drew the zombie was on my monitor that was right off screen just so you couldn't see it was the exact picture of the zombie I drew so that way I wouldn't have to actually do it. So this is how I actually draw pictures. I am 21 years old and I still draw like this. I bought crayons instead of my colored pens, and apparently when you buy crayons, they still give you white crayons for whatever reason. What are they for? After, after we get rid of that piece of junk, obviously in a soccer game, the only way to tell the teams apart is by different colored shoes. Nothing else can differentiate the team players at all in the shoes. two concepts I chose soccer and a band and I chose soccer because that's what I used to play in a band so my dad gave me the idea I'm just gonna steal it from him now moving on to the band you got to have the four members you got to have the singer the guitarist the bass and drummer Why would I want to draw the drummer when I could not? So that's what that says. Insert drummer here, because that's just so much easier than drawing a drummer. Now you get those two concept drawings into Photoshop. So hopefully those will turn out better. I'm a little better with Photoshop than I am at hand drawing things. So let's get into that. Twenty minutes later. Twelve seconds later. Oh, 
moments later. I just got these ported in and they look sweet. Check them out. Here's my soccer one. Looks like a good cartoon. I, I think it works pretty well. And then over here, here, here's my band. <laughs> It actually looks really good because it's so small so you can't see all my errors and how badly of a drawer I am. So sweet. Done and done. Now the next thing we have to do on the list is fix the crouch. So as you can see on screen, I have this little script for crouch. And all it does right now is it slows down the lock speed. I need to add into it also to where it makes the, the player capsule be half the size or around there because I'm assuming or what I'm thinking right now is if you crouch you'll be about half the size of what you are if you're standing. I think that's why I'm glitching through the blocks but there's just something I want to fix. I'm assuming it's a pretty easy fix. Three hours later. I've made progress. This is not as quick of a fix as I thought it would but let me show you what I have so far. So I, I made a whole new Unreal project. I'm just in this test world right now. So if we hit play, I don't have any animations or anything, so that's all wrong. I hit play. I can't go through this. I'm 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 not crouched. I hit left control. Now I'm crouched. You can see real quick the camera moved down, and now I can go under it. And then if I hit left control again, so you'll hear it again. And then top left, it'll say uncrouch. The camera didn't move, but once I leave this. Um, once I get out from under this box, I'll be able to, it'll just force me to uncrouch. So you can see the camera move up right, right there. So that's where I'm at. That's, it's progress because now I know it's able to do it. Or now I know it's possible rather. But I'm struggling to get it to work with the animation. And I can't even get it to work at all with my, with my zombie game. So I'll update you guys in another couple hours tomorrow. Alright, remember earlier in the video I said this was going to be an easy bug to fix? Well that was a lie. As you can see, I'm wearing different clothes. That's because it's the next day. And I finally just now figured it out. It's been about 24 hours since I've last updated you. But I finally got it to work and it was the biggest pain in the butt ever. But let me show you what, how it works now. So I'm still in the test world. I just need to transfer it all over to my zombie game and it'll work the same. It's super easy. So you can tell right now I have the capsule collider on. Whenever you crouch, the animation goes down and you can see the capsule collider goes down. Obviously I don't have it set perfect, so this is just a test. And in the top left, you can see it says crouched and uncrouched and all that when I do that. So here we go. I'm going underneath this block. I hit left control. And I'll hit left control a bunch of times and it won't let me go up now, so. If I go, now if I leave, hit it again, I go up. It finally works. There it is working in the, uh, in my zombie game now. Crouch, go underneath the block, I can walk, my movement speed slowed down and everything. Hit left control and I won't go up. And then we'll leave out from underneath it. And there we go. Easy peasy. Now. Another thing I want to do now that I have that implemented and then that doesn't use it at all. I think right here, here in my hotel room, I want to kind of make a little cheese spot because why not? Because now I need to make, make this of use. So we'll make this little cabinet or I guess shelf rather be a little taller, extend it a little bit. And there we go. Move these black towels <laughs> up a little more move the fridge we don't need a sink here anymore let's play it that way if you play this once I post it on itch then you'll know how to get unlimited kills here we go crouch there we go you just go hide in this little corner there, and I'm pretty sure you'll be unstoppable heck yeah there we go done and done a few moments later.
one eternity later. Just like that, my game's built. Put it up on itch.io. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in the game, go check it out on itch. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks.